This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. There has been an outpouring of support for the victims of the Sturgeon Falls fire. A fire relief center has been opened up at Sturgeon Falls Pentecostal Church just east of town. They received overwhelming donations of clothing to help the relief effort, so much so that they are not accepting any other clothing donations at this time. They are still collecting non-perishable food donations and household items to help those affected. As West Nipissing Fire Chief Richard Miranda says, the fire hit the community at its core, but he expects Sturgeon Falls to rally together and recover. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's right downtown. Okay, it displaced 35 people. We've got five businesses out of work, uh, you know, closed down. So uh, quite a few people out of work. Uh, so it's pretty devastating for uh, a small community like this. But uh, I'm sure uh, the community will pull together and uh, continue on. Chief Miranda says the firefight was a collaborative effort. It was uh, all of West Nipissing that uh, worked the fire. Uh, we had uh, firefighters from uh, Station 9, which is in Cache Bay, uh, Station 6, which is Werner, Station 7, which is Levine, uh, Station 2, which is Crystal Falls, uh, any of the firefighters within uh, the municipality, if they show up, we tell them to dress up and come and help. Chief Miranda is commending the men and women who fought this blaze. They did a terrific job. They, uh, you know, they, they kept the fire to the uh, two uh, primary buildings. Um, very minimal uh, damage to uh, adjacent uh, buildings. Therefore, uh, I think uh, there's just uh, the one uh, on Main Street sustained quite a bit of uh, smoke damage. But uh, besides that, uh, I'm telling you, they, they did a terrific job. The whole community, uh, business people, uh, even uh, just uh, ordinary people would uh, come in with uh, coffees, donuts. Uh, uh, some um, people even supplied some lunches, uh, some meals. Uh, you know, we're very grateful to the whole community. And uh, again, uh, even the general public, uh, you know, uh, I would say about 98%, 99%. Uh, obeyed the caution line, uh, making it a lot easier for us to concentrate on the task we had. The damage figure is believed to be in excess of $1.5 million. If you are interested in watching Kojigo North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.